Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or night. So let's see what we do today. Today is auction day, but not only that, I didn't make a video uh, recently about our third auction. So today's video is going to be auction three and auction four on high bed. I'm going to give you the results. We're going to go over what's happening with these auctions. Along with that, we're going to go over just in general, like what we want to talk about. So uh, if you're into reselling, if you're looking at maybe starting an auction house from your house like we're doing, um, maybe stay tuned and see what the process is because it's, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's, uh, it's hard work, no doubt about it. But uh, it's something that we want to do and we want to move forward with it. Okay, so I'm in my garage here and we've, we've sold a lot of things, guys. Um, I don't know if I could throw in a picture of what it used to look like from this angle. I've been kind of keeping track of it. Maybe we could throw on the screen over here. But uh, this is what we're doing is we're going through and just getting rid of stuff. Um, I showed, I think, maybe in a different video. I'm not 100% sure. But that whole stack there was one auction at some point, And now it's, there's just more stuff to list right there. This is all stuff that's media that needs to go through. The train's going to go in the next auction. Um, a lot of stuff from storage unit finds you'll probably see down the road here. But the goal here is is just to is to go through all of this mostly, right? I mean, I want to transform this garage into something pretty cool, like a man cave type of thing, listing room. But um, right now, it's I mean, it's pretty deep here. All this stuff. And so this is stuff I got to go through in that table. Um, pull out stuff for auctions, pull out stuff that maybe just isn't worth a hoot. Um, this is all the inventory we have back here. For this is all online. It goes back there too. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm really excited for today, guys. Um, I know I said earlier in the video that the uh, I, I screwed up. I didn't make a video for... The third auction, so right now in this moment in time what you're watching is the fourth auction, and um, it was a short notice auction, so it was just put up within a couple days, and I'm um, just curious to see what the results are going to be like, so uh, I'm going to turn you over to the screen here, we'll take a look at the fourth auction, then me and Kim will follow up with you guys, a little sit down and, uh, and talk auction shop. Alright, so before we get into the auction, uh, just wanted to give you an update on my table here. So, give you an idea of what's happening here. Uh, this section here is all new stuff that's going to be listed on the auction. And everything that's all here and across the board here, there's a pickup order we got to deal with. Um, but everything here is stuff that hasn't sold in the past three auctions. So, we got to come up with another game plan with this stuff. Maybe lot it up, maybe try it one more time. Some of this stuff has gone through the auction multiple times. One, two, three, those three boxes there have. Um, so that it is what it is. But trying to, like I said, is move this operation into the garage at some point. But uh, got to get rid of the clutter, that's for sure. Okay, so we've got an auction going off here today. 261 lots. And we've got some Action Jackson on it. Let me show you some stats here. Uh, you're going to hear these little cha chimes in the back. That's people bidding. So we've got 29 registered bidders on this, uh, 2,793 views, 26 unique bids, 142 bids. We got uh, this first one here, Nightmare Before Christmas figurine stamper. It looks like it's ending in about 20 seconds here. And um, yeah, this, this was a uh, nice little grouping of Nightmare Before Christmas toys. Um, this auction lot also has... Um, some Elvis stuff that didn't sell the first time in our first auction, so we decided to, to route that in with this auction, along with some items that didn't sell in last week's auction. And then um, our upcoming auction, we're going we're gonna to add some more items to it for sure. So we're getting some bids here, which is nice. Looks like the first one sold for 13 They've got these Sally Head Knockers. One's at 12 one's at 11 Wine Bar set jumped up to 16 so I did something a little different here today in terms of spacing the auctions out in 25-second intervals. And uh, hopefully that'll make a difference here because it seemed like the past two auctions, they were done in like four minutes. So I'm hoping here by extending the time a little bit, 
Um, it gives people maybe an opportunity to bid on more items, but also have the auction run a little bit longer. So um, getting some more bids here. So every time there's a bid that comes in, it extends it like a, a soft close. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, so far, the prices look pretty good here on the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff across the board. Um, we do have some consignment items on this auction. And I don't think they have bids at the moment. One is a Gucci purse with a starting bid of $500. And then we have a Steve Nash autographed basketball that was given to his neighbor that we have. I think we were starting that bid off at $150. Again, those aren't my prices. Those are the prices of the consigner. So, you know, it's just that's the name of the game, right? I mean, when they consign stuff, I ask them, you know, what do you want for it? And those are the prices they wanted. So we got some lots closing off here. Looks like the knocker is going to go for 12 the Sally the Head Knocker. The Christmas Jack ornaments going. So I'm not going to bore you guys with all these details. We'll probably just do a quick summary here um, unless something else comes up, I see. But um, there's definitely some wheels, deals, and steals in this auction here today. All right, so we are moving on to our fourth auction here, and time slipped away for me this current week to get this up. So there's only 100 listings up here. Along with that, uh, I only, I've only i had it up since Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, today's Sunday, four days. We got 979 views, 18 registered uh, bidders, 18 unique bids, 66 unique bids. So let me go over here, guys, and... Um, I just show you some of the items here that are ending here. Um, all different types of items. There's some some knickknack items that we've got. There's some DVDs, some CDs. There's some really awesome. Uh, what do we got? Fetishes, fetish pieces. If you're not familiar with what those are, they be worth a lot of money. Right here, this Zuni native uh, maize lika. Um, these are on consignment, so I, I can't throw them out there at a dollar. These pieces go for a couple hundred dollars, two three hundred dollars. Um, there's another Zuni one here, another fish fetish. I mean, these things are amazing done, but the starting bids are a lot higher. Um, don't see any bids on them at the moment. Um, we've got some brand new toys in this auction. Um, we also have, which was interesting, and I just learned something new. You're always learning something new in this business, no doubt. The, um, the, in one of the consignment deals we got, there was a Swiss Army knife. And uh, let me see if I can find that. Okay, so here it is. This is the Swiss Army knife, and I just thought it was a standard Swiss Army knife. I sell them for a buck or two. Um, a lot of times you just group them up and let them flip. This one, though, was a little thicker. I'm like, ooh, this looks well made. Well, doing some research on it, it's called a Swiss Army Champ multi-tool knife, and it was brand new in, the, in the, this little nice leather case. Um, these things are like 250 to $300, like brand new, on Swiss Army's website. It's pretty crazy. They sell for like 150 on ebay so um or anywhere from like 80 to 150 we, we started it at 20 dollars. we got a bid on it and uh looks like the buyer knows well aware what this is because uh you, you see details on the buyers and uh like the email address and um they're a swiss army knife buyer which is pretty cool so let's go back over here it looks like some stuff's ending here in the next minute um again you know what lackluster performance on my end just because i i, I usually try to get these auctions up on tuesdays and just uh, time ran out for me, you know. Um, I had to wait till Thursday night to, to put it out there. So a short little rush there, but I didn't want to miss the Sundays. I wanted to do them religiously on every Sunday. That way people that are bidding and bid in the past, um, and then the advertising, all that goes through. Um, so people know that it's Sunday. Um, in terms of advertising, the past couple auctions, we haven't done any. I think I've posted in some of the local buy-sell trade groups. Um, so we're going to test some stuff when I get a bigger bulk lot. Of stuff we'll, we'll do some uh, stuff down the road but uh, in the meantime you know just just kind of word of mouth um, I also recently bought some flyers that we'll be putting out so uh, it'll be interesting let me come back here guys we'll do a little recap once this auctions over all right looks like we got a little bit of a bidding war with these belt buckles which by the way shout out to Dewey Dewey won some items from our second auction and he gave me these to, to sell so we could buy some treats for the dogs so whatever they end up going for we're going to use that money and buy some treats for the dogs. And uh, that was so super cool. You do. We really appreciate that. So um, right now, you know, it's just it, it is what it is. I'm looking at this and uh, we've got 54 lots rolling down. There's some wheels, deals and steals here today for sure. I didn't even realize it was Super Bowl. That's how far out, out of <laughs> civilization I am um, that when I listed this auction, it was actually ending. I think the 
Super Bowl Sunday. So could be a reason why there's no bids um, on some items and stuff like that, which is really not a big deal. I'm not discouraged about it because you can always relist them here. So um, looks like the belt buckles are at $12.50. And uh, you have 30 seconds going down there to soft close. We got some baseball cards coming up, some comic books, some uh, Marvel and DC Comics stamps, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're just you know, like I said, this is just trial and error for us. So um, I, I actually like it. I enjoy this. I love I love watching what things sell for. I love uh, just the whole process of it. And um, you never know down the road. I mean, maybe this maybe this turns out to be something pretty big for us. So um, looks like the belt buckles are going to end here. Five, four, three. Two, one, sold twelve fifty. So awesome! Thank you, Dewey, and thank you who for whoever won the belt buckles. Appreciate that. I'm not going to bore you guys with the rest of the details here because we got fifty one items remaining, and uh, stuff is is moving along here as as best as it can be for sure. So uh, me and Kim will come back. We'll recap uh, the the third auction, which we missed that to make that video, and then we're going to recap this one here and give you guys just a an overall of. Uh, the experience and uh, what's been happening with the auctions. All right, here we go. It's the update time. We're in the dark part of the desert. We are. It's cool, huh? The sun set very quickly. It did. <laughs> All right, so quick shout out here. Well, we're going to start to do this in uh, future episodes. So let's talk about this wine we have here tonight. All right. I'll hold the bottle. All right, you, can you talk hold about the it. bottle. We have a 2019 Chateau Le Coin. It is a Bordeaux. And um, we are in a wine of the month type of club sort of thing. And this is one that they sent. And it is really good. Um, the winemaker, every year since they've been in business, mm. they have won gold medals for wine. At least one gold medal since their debut. And Bold. over 90 points. So we're having grilled ribs tonight or, or uh, smoked ribs and this is supposed to go well with that so nice it's yummy so all right so let's jump into it because we missed last week's update on the auction and for for people keeping track we did it was our best auction yet yeah it was great we sold 101 out of 261 lots which is 39 percent we had a total of 20 bidders one international bidder we had our first canadian bidder because we, we can do international, so yeah. which, that's pretty nice. awesome. Yeah. Um, now, we had three non-paying bidders, which is just, it seems like it's an ongoing issue here with well, people not paying, which happens. is what it is. But um, other than that, there was 11 local people, so that was great. That was great, yeah. Yep. I'll throw you were this, very busy. Yeah, I was busy all week, like, just doing local pickups and, you know, meeting great people out there, and it was fun. But um, the, the highlight of this auction was this Phillips Respironics like BiPAP breathing machine. Oh, okay. CPAP? Came, CPAP. Yeah. So they called it BiPAP. I don't know. Oh, okay. So for 40 bucks, it was a heck of a deal. Wow. Yeah, those I mean, things are not cheap. You're supposed not to sell them on eBay, you know, but no. like they're four or $500 new. Yeah. And you see them sell on eBay for 180 bucks like that once they're listed. But well, if eBay doesn't pull a listing down. So 40 bucks wasn't that bad. No. Um, so that was a great auction. I yeah, mean, it was like, wow, great. this is pretty amazing. Um, now, leads, uh, now we're leading up to now the, the, the recent auction. Tonight's auction. Tonight's auction. Which, unfortunately, neither one of us realized it was Super Bowl weekend. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't know. <laughs> and we're like, well, okay. And then Oops. once we realized, <laughs> the, the day of the auction today, I'm like, whoa, something's wrong. Oopsie. Um, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, you know, before we jump into that, though, we did re I did reach out to Auction Flex mm -hmm. and got some feedback on some stuff I had questions for. Yep. I called them. Number came through. I mean, somebody answered the phone, so they asked. They asked my. They answered my questions right away in Good. terms of like, you know, how do I do non payer and bid bidders? How do I, you know. Um, dispute charges stuff like that so you felt like customer service was good yeah they were wow. they were they were par they were like right on top good. so it was good um but so anyway the results of tonight's auction we had 100 lots 55 items sold which is so 55 percent. 55 percent. that's yeah. really excellent yeah that's great right especially um, seeing as how it's super bowl weekend and we didn't even we probably would have popped over to another weekend if yeah that was the yeah. case if we had realized that so it looks like there was 13 bidders five local sales 
which okay. is promising, no doubt about it. Um, the highlight was this one I was talking about earlier, the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, that you was... Know, I had no idea there was high-end Swiss Army knives. <laughs> and the person who won it got a, an amazing deal on it, 20 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, um, again, this is all just trial and error and just try, trying to build this this auction game going. Good deals to be and, had. And, yeah, and I'll, sure. be, and I'll be honest, I mean, I'm thrilled. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, it was good. It was definitely good, and and... We know what's coming up through the pipeline, and there's some really great yeah, stuff yeah, that's coming no up doubt. through the pipeline. So it's just a matter of that we've had to process it and, yep. and research some of it because mm -hmm. we have a lot of native stuff that's coming up too. That's a lot of an amazing piece amazing. of jewelry. There's, I mean, we just haven't even tapped into this. No. So, like, you know, running in this now, this is our fourth auction. It's been a month. We got billed through Auction Flex. Yep. There's additional charges other than your $60 a month. Yeah. You know, there's, there's, Charges per people per bidding. There's a one percent fee on every the, the total amount you sold. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a learning curve, but I mean, I'm I'm thrilled. Yeah, so far so good. I I have nothing yeah. but good things to say at the moment. And, you know, and it, it I seems hope like it grows. It, yeah, you know, it seems like it's growing, and you know what? There's a lot of great people we're meeting, and a lot of great people that come from the YouTube channel that yeah. are watching. So that's awesome. Thank you guys. I mean, it means a lot. Yeah, we've had we've had some bidders from that watch us on YouTube and some that are local that have come down. Yeah, so super cool. That's great. So that's the update here. This is the transparency part of it. We're just trying to be really transparent on what we're doing here, just so you're out there watching. Like, well, maybe I can do this, and I, I think anybody can do this. You mm -hmm. just you know you got to put some time and effort into it. So, um, you know, this was a win loss type of deal to some extent, right between these two auctions. You win some, you lose some. Mm -hmm. You know, was it a bad, it was a bad move on us listing something on Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. With three-day notice. Yeah. <laughs> and again, we didn't, we didn't advertise any of this stuff. Yeah, so, so that's a learning, you know, yeah, learning curve on learning our part. And... But, all right, so end of the video, guys, we did get something in the mail here. So if you're interested in mailing us something and you want us to talk about it <laughs> um, or, or pump your product, here's your chance. We got something here. Okay. I'm excited to see what this is. Yeah, it looks like it came from Altoona, Florida. So let me open this up. Now, who is it from? It says it's from Laura's Sweet and Spicy LLC. Ooh, okay. So let me... Laura's Sweet and Spicy LLC. Thank ooh, you. I don't know what it is, but... Ooh, barbecue sauce to go with our ribs tonight? Ooh, that would awesome. be... All right, we're opening up. Here okay. we go. Oh, very well packaged. Well, <laughs> and the dogs are behaving. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, what is this? He does like all about it. It looks like honey. It does look like honey. It was like a honey bear. Here, I'll let you hold that. Oh, the it is a honey crazy. bear. Holy cow, look at this honey. Wildflower natural raw honey. Oh, that's nice. Wow. <gasps> All right, so there are different flavors. Exotic. Oh. Palmetto. Nice. Pal palmetto. Oh, my gosh. You didn't have to do this. Interesting. Wow. Thank you so much. What's that one? Galberry. Well, now I'll have some honey to go in my tea. Look at this honey. Look honey, at honey, this. Honey. Oh, my orange goodness. Orange honey. I didn't know orange honey existed. Well, I suppose it's like anything, right? You can infuse honey. Yeah, here's I would one. assume. Do they leave us a note uh, or card? Local. This is just local honey. So. All right, so no note or card here. Maybe I can investigate a little further. And they all have the cute little bears. So, well, thank you so yeah, much, so Laura. Much. Awesome. Sweet and spicy. I'm excited to try some of this. I'll have to yeah. taste a little bit before I put it in my tea, or that some of them might be... The exotic. So we'll I'm wondering the, what's in the exotic. Hopefully we can find out more about the company and put some information on the screen for you guys if you're out and about and you want to support local businesses. I mean, this is pretty awesome. This is like, gosh, this is almost like a couple years worth of honey. <laughs> I know, it's a ton <laughs> of us. honey. This is awesome. I'll have to find some things to bake with honey, I guess. Yeah, I mean, even some barbecue. You put a little honey on barbecue. I do, yeah. Yep. So with that being said, guys, we appreciate you watching. Again, shout out to... Laura's exotic. Laura's exotic. What, no, not exotic. What is it? Uh, Laura's sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy. Sweet, I'm looking at the exotic. I'm looking at Laura's sweet it's and spicy. She's not Joe exotic. It's not she, Joe exotic. No. But it's from Florida. Maybe it's from Joe exotic. Hey. Who knows? <laughs> I like Joe exotic though. And shout out to our our wine of the evening. Let's see. You probably can't let see me, the let label me hold it. Very Give well. a little shout out. It's Chateau Le Coin. Awesome. Or Le Coin. Look on. Look on. All right, guys, be great. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Peace.